Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from the Automator. And uh, this tool we're re um, showing you here, we called it FlexiFinder because initially I've been using it for searching for auto hotkey help for, for 10 years easily, probably longer uh, in a V1 version. And it was much simpler. And I asked Rizwan, the guy on our team here to, to jazz it up, make it V2, add some cool functionality. So we finally got it done and we're releasing it here. So um, Isaiah, why don't you go ahead and start talking through some of the cool functionality. All right. So basically what it does is that you can select multiple sites and a search engine where you're going to search for a keyword. Here's where you're going to put your keyword. Let's say that I want to search for post message or something like that. And I want to search for that tool in Stack Overflow, the Automator and YouTube and the AutoHotKey V2 documentation, but not the V1, right? So I could choose those sites, hit search, and it goes ahead and opens a few websites and you will notice here, let me see. So here you will see that it will open up the Google website and on the site parameter, it would put whatever you gave it. And that means that the results that you're getting are more likely to come from that website that you're looking for. Well, and that means that you will be able to get more relevant it, answers. It forces Google to say, use Google to search this site and give me the results, which a lot of websites have a search tool, but their search tools are crap. And, and Google yeah, does yeah. a better job of searching other people's sites than your own search tool on your own site. So that was right. That is correct. Yeah. You know. Now you 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 see that I search for post messaging YouTube, and now I get some video responses and um, very good like that. Like on the automator, I could search for and so on. So it is a really cool tool. But here's the interesting part: we we do have a hotkey that you can press, and you can modify that in the options. So um, if I remember right, Control Shift M brings up this tool. So you can be doing whatever and you press your hotkey and it brings this and then you can search for something just to get relevant information. But interestingly enough, if you have some code like this or something like that, you can select a word or you know a function or whatever you select, right? The interesting part is that if you have text selected and you press Control Shift M, it actually brings up the GUI, but it puts whatever you selected here and it is already ready for you to search for it. You can press the enter key right away. And it just opens up those websites for you with um, whatever keyword you added and for those websites. So it's amazingly useful in the sense of, yeah, I don't I don't have to type whatever I want, right? Uh, I can just select part, hit the hotkey and bring it over. So really cool stuff. It's a really search tool. You can switch to your preferred um, engine in here, but the interest, the most interesting part, of course, is that you have some options out here that we're going to explain in a second. Before I dive into those, um, remember that most search engines, if you put double quotes around whatever you're searching, it does an, an exact match on whatever keyword you have, especially if you have kind of like a sentence like open this car. And you, if you put the double quotes and search for it, it would search for that specific sentence on those websites. So really great. Um, it's not a look for open and this and car. It's open no. this car is what it's looking for, right? Exactly, the whole thing. Now, here in the options, uh, as I mentioned before, you can set up your hotkey. And if you need your hotkey to use the Windows key, I would use the checkbox here to set the Windows key as part of your hotkey. Um, you can change the font size of the program, and you can either set whether dark mode or light mode. In this case, if I launch it like this, notice that the text is smaller at this point. And now we have what is called the dark mode in which the background is kind of like dark and the text is white. Um, really I've heard cool stuff Peter because, really yeah. likes that one. <laughs> yeah, so really great. Um, if you want to know how to you know, create dark mode stuff. You can take a look at the script itself and you can find it, find out how we create those little, uh, uh, that way of explaining stuff. But the main idea here is that you can actually list which websites to search on. So basically um, this is kind of like the default list, but you can add other pages here like reddit.com slash r slash auto hotkey if I wanted to. 
or facebook.com or something like that or it doesn't even have to be an auto hotkey thing right that's why we changed right. the flux finder because you're like you could be searching any site for like i used to have one for sql and certain websites that had a lot of sql background you know um content right now when you hit apply what happens is that that site is now going to show up on your list and later on whenever you're searching for something you can choose to add to show to search on that url or if you choose not to, you just unselect it. So basically, as you just mentioned, maybe you have Stack Overflow, and here in the options, you do have Stack Overflow tagged with a hotkey, but maybe I can add another one for SQL here or HTML, for example. I would say SQL and HTML. And at this point, I apply it, I have it. And if my question is not related to our hotkey, I could just um, on select these guys, I would probably want a button to unselect all, right? But then go ahead and just search under the SQL. And then I would ask, um, you know, how to, um, you know, update, you know? If I search for update under the auto hotkey, I might get some irrelevant things, right? But if I look for it in the SQL mm -hmm. um, stack overflow, I might get results that I care about. So I can just unselect everything else and just check this out. Or if I want something for HTML, you know, yeah, how to click. I, I was on, thinking uh, maybe something we, we can consider for future editions is because the YouTube one kind of bugs me. What would be kind of interesting is if in the YouTube, if you go to the options, if, if in options, if we had a tab after YouTube and then had whatever word you want, like let's say auto hotkey, right? it would automatically include auto hotkey in your search because otherwise it's like binding it kind of right. You know what I mean? Cause oh, right, now, right. So if you search for yeah, a word yeah. in YouTube, YouTube's not auto hotkey specific. So it's going right. to be all over the place. I see. I understand what you mean. So right now, if I see click, it would right. look for click, but also right. in YouTube for auto hotkey specifically. Right. Well, that we would a good, append, a good... we'd be, we would automatically append auto hotkey. So you wouldn't have to add it yourself. Right. right. I, I I agree. I agree with that. So I don't think you have the limited thing where you can put um, right. many tags or words. Yeah. Other words you want to have. Whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. Appended. Right. Always right. appended, but not have to be listed because that'd be annoying on some of these like Stack Overflow. But see, Stack Overflow does have a way to filter. Search for tag. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now, I don't think now, it does that. Uh, um, now, maybe does. on YouTube, on YouTube, you could probably go to a channel, a given we, channel. We could put our channel. And you can yeah. get, you can get put a URL to that channel. But and whenever you, you search, you would yeah. search on that channel. Is that a thing? It is, but it would be limited to that channel, right? right. That's where we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's, which granted, there's really only one good channel. <laughs> but no, but you know, I would say there's a handful of auto hotkey channels that I would say like, okay, I, I, I would want to go see if uh tab nation or Spanova or Axel, right. or, you know, have done something chungy, although I haven't done videos lately uh, and Hellbent, Right. But he's V one. So anyway, yeah. it, it is, it's um, it, it just wouldn't be, it's not a good fit, I think for this, but right. yeah, you get the idea. So it's a really cool tool. Um, I think it's 99 cents just as uh cause we've, we spent a lot of time on that tool even though it's easy, we kept adding little stuff and tweaking it. Um, it's a great script to learn from though. If you, if you're trying to do something like that. Right. That is correct. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Again, remember we have, um, auto hockey courses. We teach people auto hockey and our hero group is great. If you're just trying to level up and learn, this is where you could bring a script like this and say, how would I do this? And we can show you how to tweak it and stuff. That's, which is what a lot of people do is they bring their code there and we just help them nudge them in the right direction. So hope that helps. Right. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.